it's recording. Okay, good. So this video is gonna be a little bit different in Okay, they're all different. None of these are typical or normal or have any kind of relation other than I'm doing them every day. So we're just gonna stop saying that and just be like, with most of my classes, you come in and have no idea what you're getting into. Welcome to today's video. I wanna talk about something that I'm like strangely passionate and happy and excited and want to promote more often, and that is buying yourself flowers. <laughs> this is, okay symbolize more than just a pretty thing that I put on my counter. A couple years ago, I was going through some rough and questionable times, struggling in college, not sure what my next choice was going to be, if I was making the right choice, um, do I stay, do I go, do I take this job, do I take that job? Just, you know, questions that you kind of ask yourself when life happens and you're on the verge of something new and exciting. And I was... At this point I was living with roommates. But even if you're living with roommates, sometimes you can feel really alone. You can have the world around you and still feel lost and trapped in your own thoughts and mind. I was thinking, like, I couldn't wait to have somebody in my life to buy me flowers when I am sad and not feeling good and just down in the dumps and do something nice for me to make me feel better. Something as simple as buying flowers. Like, who doesn't, I know, mom, I know my mom did it, doesn't like flowers because they die. Yes, they do. Yes, mother, they do die. But they're beautiful while they're here. For some reason, flowers popped into my head as the thing that I couldn't wait for somebody to get for me when I wasn't feeling good or was struggling or questioning and this is sitting on me funny. Focus! So I had that rattling around in my head and I had to stop myself and be like, wait a second. You are perfectly capable of buying yourself flowers. You are perfectly capable of making yourself happy, of treating yourself well, and of showing love and compassion and kindness to yourself. So go and get some flowers. And I shop at Aldi's. Aldi's is an amazing store that has all the necessities and for a very low cost. And lo and behold, did you know they got flowers for $4? I bought myself a $4 bouquet and my stress, my anxiety, my worries dropped dramatically. They were still definitely there. Like, I still had a long ways to go. And like, I still do. How, when, are we ever just like fully there and done? No. But buying myself flowers was one of like the best things I could have done for myself. It showed that I cared about me. It showed that I loved and respected who I was and where I was going. And this, this little act of kindness catapulted me into something that I'm continuing on like three years later. I buy myself a bouquet of flowers every week or every other week depending on if the bouquet I have is still alive and well or if there aren't any flowers that I want. But I buy myself enough flowers that I could probably count on my hand in the last three years when I had a vase empty because I wasn't able to get flowers and they were empty and I, they needed to be thrown away. But three years of doing something as simple as spending an extra four dollars on me to make me feel happy. I walk in and see these flowers and I think of that day that I realized that why am I waiting around for somebody else to do this for me? I don't think I'm ever gonna stop this. So I always get excited when I get to buy some roses. I think that was the first bouquet I bought. Six roses catapulted me into life-changing things. So that was kind of a bit of a long tangent on flowers, but like I said, this is something that's very near and dear to my heart. I see this every single day, it's in my kitchen, and I see them every day when I walk in the door, when I leave the house. These flowers got me to be a personal trainer, they got me to leave college, they got me in a manager position, they got me to start a business. These flowers represented all the worth and power and potential that I have inside of me. So by having them out, and having me able to see them daily, it's just one more reminder that I'm doing the right thing. I'm on the right path. And I want you to find your flower too. Talk to you tomorrow. I was so worried that I was gonna just <laughs> spill this everywhere. <laughs> Thanks for listening.